In a world, four friends, one mission, to bring freedom to everyone involved. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I'm doing a thing for the podcast. Did you say the name? <sighs> Fine. It's the Freedom Friends Podcast. We are live. Holy uh, fuck, boys. That's Fucking weird. A. I guess we just had like ten minutes of great conversation that's usually recorded. Oh, that's odd. That's always yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. We've got the fucking we got, JV. Well, team. we already yeah. fucking covered the, the fucking, po- so we can't do that again. We got we got the JV team on the on the production side today. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. We got a uh, old Rich Lavely, our uh, moderator of the pa- Facebook page, stopped in from Massachusetts, and because Justin has COVID, we let him fucking be the fingers for the week because he's got to push a button, a button. Yeah, it's not a big not a big difficult. Task. Which is also why we're running one camera. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, so, so that's why he, it's only one button instead of four. Correct. If we had the other cameras, three, three buttons. Three well, buttons. it would be three for the cameras and one to start it. Oh, so yeah. four yeah. for the whole show. Yeah, yeah. But now I just got everything set up. And it would have been like, really confusing. I was like, I was like, look, monkey, just push this button. <laughs> that's <it. laughs> so all you got to worry about, kid. And then you don't have to do back. fuck all for about an hour, hour and a half, and then you're going to push yeah. this button again. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke cigars, drink whiskey. Yeah, yeah. you're fine. Not a big deal. Not just a big don't deal drink so much whiskey that you can't see the button anymore. But holy like, fuck, thing, it is time for the Freedom Friends podcast, brought to you by WarfighterTobacco.com. Use that code FTFO, screw yourself that fucking sweet. Oh, I can see it. I can see it. It's, it's right there, true. and it's definitely bongering. Uh, 15% off discount with FTFO. And then, of course, our buddies, OWellness.us. Use that code Freedom Friends 25 to get yourself a quarter off your order over there. John, you're not a real fucking person anymore because you don't have a face. <laughs> so uh, I got Jazz. I got Big Jim on the show because Scotty Boy is taking the kid back to uh, Key West. Um, it's a real tough first duty assignment. I know, right? <laughs> fucking Coast Guard's got it figured the fuck out, man. I'm well, telling you. No, they don't because I don't know if he's got a place to live or not. <laughs> so yeah, he might be <laughs> like, Are you fucking serious? Yeah. He doesn't have buildings squared away? Oh, no. so they, they, no. they, they, they live out in town. Yeah. They don't They're have, all on the economy. They don't have uh-huh. on-base housing yeah. in Key West. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. He's What's the BAH a- differential in Key West? Oh, a lot. It's they, fucking, they get, they but get he's going to be using every It's pretty much that. more than his base. I was going to say, so, because he's like, what, an E3? <laughs> I think he, E3 yeah. and E4. So his BAH remember. is higher than his pay. Probably. Because an E3 only makes like $1,600 right? a month or some shit. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Yeah. 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 And there's a whole lot of drinking in fucking Key West, man. So. He doesn't drink. I couldn't have. I couldn't have been there as a fucking. Oh, I would have been kicked. He's the actually. Fuck out of <laughs> I'd have been fucked. He man. is. Yeah. He is hilarious when he drinks. Oh, he is. That kid is. Oh, it's but so it, funny when he really. Drinks. If I was That's in if I was in E three in Key West. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be like, I'm taking I'd a leave been fantasy fest. Rude. You'd also have herpes. I'd be in E one. Yeah, but you can't catch it twice. Yeah, you'd also have herpes. But I'd be in E one for the rest of my military career. Yeah, with gonorrhea syphilis. Yeah. But for the rest of my military career, not just like, yeah. oh, well, you got busted down a couple There's times. There's certain... Like, <laughs> you're like, so you're a permanent E1. Like, <laughs> duty stations Why don't you guys I'm, just keep all that rank? Because yeah. I'm not going to need it. There's <laughs> certain duty stations that I'm like, ooh, next promotion is Leavenworth. I'm pretty sure that's how <laughs> this works. <laughs> like, just, give yeah, me, like, just give me my machine gun and just cover my I house. Had a, I had a buddy of mine that was... Uh, when I was living in Virginia Beach, I met him and he was in the Navy. And uh, so he was on the Enterprise. And when he got off the enterprise his next duty station was shore duty in vicenza italy well that sucks what a rough fucking life <laughs> i was like motherfucker I'm yeah, you gotta fight all the army guys yeah but he was i was like and then he was there for it was a two-year duty station he came back and i was like so uh midway he came back and visited for his birthday and i was like so how was it and he was like He's like, literally, I work like four hours a day, and then I, I go sit at espresso shops and smoke cigars and drink espresso and just watch Italian women walk up and down the fucking hills. I was what a like, rough fucking life. I was like, wow. They, I mean, that, you, gotta, you gotta say one thing for the fucking Italian broad, so they get decked out just to go to the supermarket. Yeah. yeah. Until about, they're like 35, and then they all shrink like seven inches and put a headscarf on, and then it's just <laughs> and, like socks, and, 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 and that's the end of it. And the beard comes in, and <laughs> yeah. it's just like, it's like... Yeah. He's like, well, I got to go visit my seven grandchildren. It's like, you're 33. <laughs> <laughs> like it started young over there. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. We, we have a big family. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jim, you know about that. Yeah. <laughs> my, my fucking dude now they're all aristocrats now yeah. like they, i was like the last oh like the the normal of like the shit go in the military do like the right thing kind of thing now they're all they're all accountants and nobody went in the military yeah it's very depressing huh 
Yeah. You know what though? Like I think I'm the last one in my family to go too. I like, know I'm the I, last I, one I had two mine. cousins. <laughs> I had two cousins that I'd hoped to go. One of them just turned 26 yesterday. And his older brother's in his 30s. He's not going anywhere. And I'm like, fuck, man. I'd have liked to have seen him fucking join. Yeah. They'd have been fucking solid, like... I'm kind of curious what happens to, like... Solid soldiers or sailors. Like, like I'm not going to have kids, but I'm, Justin is. And I'm kind of curious what he ends up pushing with his kids. Because Justin and I broke the cycle. Yeah. Like, we were the first ones that, like, enlisted, did our term, and then got out. And Everybody we were, else retired, we were done. right? Everybody else was, like, career yeah, and they still did their bit though. Well, and commissioned. So like all of them were like career officers, and we were the only ones that were like enlisted, made NCO, fucking deuces. Like I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm done. I'm gonna go be a civilian. So I'm kind of curious what, what like he does with his kids. Yeah, I'm whether okay. he does none, the whole like, all right, look, you're like, just go do your four years and then yeah. get the like, fuck out. None of them became but, cops. Like my uncle's a cop. None of his kids came cops. Okay, fine, got it. But then their kids, none of them, none of them. Yeah. I, I think a lot of that also depends on uh, cops and criminals. Well, no, it, I, and they're not even criminals. Like I would, I would have bought that. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> like all right, fine, I get it. I'm, it a lot like, of do that you I, stretch and wall pull? Well, good. You I think know. depends on the experience you have, like while you're in, right? Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Like it, my dad's army and my army, and then even Justin's army compared to my army, like it was just this like continual like downhill cycle. Like, it's crazy how like, Justin's generationally army it sucked. Yeah, and like I've talked to dudes now that are in and they're like no it's it's not the military it's dude i remember fucking- i remember peacetime marine corps and it, it, it <laughs> you remember it it fucking I, it was I, terrible I was peacetime like, army it fucking it wasn't sucked. much dude, better before those dude, planes hit the building it was buffing the motor pool it sucked i was getting out i've had a packet in for secret service i was going to a uniform secret service yes and scott like, and i joke about it. happening scott and i joke about it all the time but we were literally running around the woods Yelling bang, bang. Right? yeah, yeah. But about a jam, had no money. But about a jam, dude. It, it, was, it, jam. it was just yeah. the same in like 79, 60, 79, 80 in the in the army before Reagan got. They had no money, and it was the same thing from like ninety seven to like two thousand. It sucked, especially being heavy army. There was no fuel. Yeah. Guys would go to the fucking golf course and be like, "We're gonna get four golf courts, and we're gonna we're gonna practice tank tactics." Yeah. At doing least fucking hammerhead rights yeah. and shit. Oh, was, <laughs> we're doing hammerhead rights in these air, golf courses. It's an open air tank. <laughs> Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> Who's out there? You doing this? This is your notional guns. <laughs> what are you doing? I mean, I'm shooting. I'm suppressing fire. This is, it. <laughs> this is what I'm doing right here. Like my unit had gone to Bosnia, like that one company. So when I got there as a lieutenant, they're like, they're only they're only going to be there for 90 more days. Do you want to go? I'm like, fuck yeah. Like what else? Like there's nothing going on. I'm <laughs> yeah. fucking yes, bored. Yes, <laughs> yes, like, yes, I guess. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need I, I need to do that. Jesus. Yeah, I remember it was like J-O-B inspections and buffing your fucking boots and make sure your fucking camis were like razor sharp and shit like that. And it was just. Yeah, That's back when you could just, actually start your uniform. Yeah, it was just uh, fuck fuck games, though, man. Watching and then, that cloud come off of them. When you That's why guys would get in trouble. There are guys who would have been stellar Marines or stellar like sure. 11 Bs. Sure. But there was nothing going on. And they're like, this sucks. Yeah. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. Well, what do you do? Is, I mean, we had one dude. We brought him out here. When you're a combat, he, it, when you're a combat arms dude that doesn't get to go to combat, to combat like what the fuck? Shit. Yeah, your buddy that you came out yeah, here, that, Rick. Yeah, if Rick would have fucking de- been deployed for twenty years of his military career, he'd have been stellar. He would have retired. Yeah, and he fucking probably would have been like an E eight. Yeah, but yeah. without the structure, if they with, left him overseas, yeah. For twenty years, <laughs> the second he steps one foot back in the states, it's like liberalism anywhere. <laughs> Any, yes, yeah. yes, no. Yeah. Uh, like we got back, my, we got back from my Iraq. I was this is bad though. We got like, back from Iraq, and I don't know who the fuck made the right idea. Thought this was a good idea, but they approved his leave for him to go to Amsterdam. What do they think was gonna <laughs> happen? I don't know, but we all knew what happened. <laughs> like <laughs> I grew up with a kid, uh, kid named Chris. That I mean. He well, we talked about him on the show because he like he was did that Facebook post with the whole like, if I have stuff you want, come get it. This is it. I won't be here tomorrow. Like yeah. and so like everybody rallied and got him in the hospital and everything. Growing up, it was the same way. Like in and out of juvie, the whole nine yards. Enlisted as an eleven bang bang, went to brag, and then deployed. And he was part of the early section, so it was like deploy, come back for a little bit, deploy again, come back for a little bit. And if he was over there. He was Perfect. stellar. I mean, yeah. it was exactly Just what you love in life. But and you could see those guys. You could see those guys nightmare. in the field when you just got, went to the field and went and did a Same. training. Yeah, exercise. it's the same thing. They yeah. were great. Yeah. And you're like, 
dude, can't you just not get in trouble? No. <laughs> no that's, that's the just thing. not get in trouble enough that I don't have to do anything about you. They don't yeah. have the self control to stay yeah. away. They need well I think it they really need boils. to be on the edge, whatever, whatever they that need is. the suck. Yeah. They like they, it's weird yeah. to sound, but they need the suck, and that's what it's actually true. lets. I'm gonna them drink. Operate. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fucking get into a fight because that's what they want. Right. And it, it's like you know, you take these kids and you're like, dude, this kid's this kid can tank his ass off, or this kid can fucking hump his ass off, and he's he's he's, he's a guy who's got to carry a dude's extra ruck. But God damn it, we're gonna fucking UCMJ his ass into the ground because he fucking like, dude. <sighs> They need like a like in case of war break glass brigade. These guys, yeah, <laughs> and that's and it's like straight just up a bunch fucking of Jason stop, Bourne. It is stop like, tapping the reserves. Just, just have these dudes. Straight straight you put these guys on lockdown. like fucking. Uh, uh, that's a great idea. It's straight Escape up lockdown. from New York. Like just like like put them on a fucking island. That's yeah. it. And let them fucking and then like hey it's time to go. Hey, it's, sure. you it's know fucking what? snake Plissken time, bitches. Put, let's yeah, rock. Put them on. Put them at some fucking base in Eastern Europe. Right. And, and that's just, it. And run war games. You don't even have to tell them don't go fucking get in trouble. Right. Yeah. Because they'll. it's a self-correcting like, problem over there. You go around yeah. town and you fuck around, you're going to find out. Yeah. <laughs> and those fucking but Serbian these are bastards the same guys don't care. Be like, hey, uh, he's going to fall asleep on guard. He's going to fall asleep in his fox. And no, they don't. They won't show up for fucking formation because it's fucking formation. Yeah. But you put that kid in a weapon and a fucking... Fit, that kid's up 29 hours. And he's fine. Wired as shit. Yeah. Fine. Right. Fine. fine. Good, he's living on and caffeine like, and yeah, fucking, fucking nicotine, bro. And, and How are you staying awake? <laughs> and he shows you his forearm and there's all the lighter smiley faces just <laughs> running up his arm because he's been fucking burning himself. He's like, I'm fine. <laughs> <And then it's laughs> like, Holy fuck. <laughs> it's yeah. like, all right, dude. Ah, like, I was do you walking. need to be relieved? He's like, no, I'm good. I'm good, dude. Go get some sleep. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh, he's in yeah. Africa chewing on cot. Locals yeah. do it. Why the fuck can't I? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking just fucking hey, getting weird. No, you're just, right, though. Just keep all those dudes and just be like, and just, just run one brigade. Just run war games yeah. until it's time to send them. Dude, that's you know, a you great guys, idea. Each battalion, so uh, army size wise, each battalion is about a thousand dudes. Let's say you got three three battalions in this brigade. So you got, with I've support, you, pr- you got about 5,000. You people. get a bunch of fucking just meat eating assholes like that, dude. You take over fucking countries. It, but it you got country you building. Have five thousand people <laughs> like, that their like, sole job is to just fucking ruin people's days. Yeah. I mean, we used to have that. They were called rock marines out of the Republic of Korea. Yeah, and like they would send them into a village in fucking Vietnam, and there would just be stumps left. <laughs> they were just like they yeah. would kill fucking, everything. My dad was a was an Air <laughs> Force <laughs> pilot in Vietnam, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so they had a they had a, so he was, he was in Vietnam, and they had a fucking they had a problem with the you know the Viet Cong and on their air base and whatever. And the fucking Rock Marines killed a bunch of guys, causing some bullshit. So my so my dad's out there, and they're like, "Well, we need people to identify." Okay, this guy, I'm like that guy's my fucking barber. You killed my fucking barber. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Bro, where am I supposed to get noodles now? <laughs> no, but when you're talking about the generational gap in the military, I remember the day it happened. Like, the second those planes hit, I remember I was on the pistol range. So, like, you know, like, when you go on the range, like, you're gone for, like, a week. You know what I mean? You're, like, not at your yeah. unit for a week. You're, like, fapped out to the range because that's what all you're focusing on is shooting, right? So, I'm on the pistol range. I checked out my pistol that morning. It was a Tuesday morning. I checked it out. Fucking, I go to the range. We're like, yep, shit's getting weird. Threat con Delta hit. They shut the fucking base down. The range kept going. You know, they were like, just keep, just fucking finish the range. We're going to fucking stick to it. Da, 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 da. Then we'll kick you back to the unit. We're this like, might be right. useful in a minute. So just yeah, go ahead. Right? And, uh, if you want to make sure those are zeroed, that'd be fucking fantastic. Yeah. So I was like, all right, fucking A. You know, like everybody's like, like pretend it's fucking Bin Laden down there. And you're all like, <laughs> everybody like, like, you know, I qualified. It was great. And um, I get back to my unit and I'm expecting fuck, fuck games. And everybody, it was like a fucking light switch had went off. And they were like, get ready. We're getting fucking weird, boys. Let's do this. Well, you got a bunch of war dogs that finally get to do war. Like it. Yeah. Kind of- <laughs> well, because you know they think like all, all of like my, my senior staff and CEOs, like my fucking my saltier staff sergeants and my gunnies and my mass sergeants and shit. They were all fucking uh, They're Panama guys, and Desert Storm, shit, dudes. Desert Storm, Desert Storm dudes. Dudes. you know. They were all like Desert Storm and Somalia and fucking uh, like uh, they were Desert Storm, Somalia and fucking um, Kosovo Marines. Like so, they had all fucking been in fights, you know. And so they were like. They knew when to flip that switch, and they were like, "All right, we're doing this, this, this. Fuck all that. That's not important. We're doing this, this, and this." Fighting in Desert Storm. Well, four days. A little bit. Well, like like in in comparison to not fighting, that's a good amount. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah. true. All these old sites. The Marines got their their fucking. They did. They did did their thing. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it wasn't like you know, like it wasn't like the biggest thing for the Marine Corps. Desert Storm was the birth of Psyop. Yeah, that's when they actually started legitimately looking at turning Psyop into a branch instead of a functional area. Yeah, 
And we actually leveraged the Marines for that mission because we convinced everybody that the Marines were coming in off the coast. And then you guys mm -hmm. walked in and it cut the country in half. Yeah. Well, I remember during Somalia, like which was right after that, yep. you guys used that fucking, we used, uh, the Marines used fucking PSYOPs heavily. Yeah. But at the time, it was a functional area. And then post, so that happened. 91. Uh, Somalia happened. In 93, Somalia. 93. And then in 97, they stood the branch up. Yeah. So and it was literally all of that all of that mission analysis was looked at. Proof of concept. Well in Bosnia was going on too. So then it was like Oh fuck, this actually is like really effective. So and then people started getting letters. There was literally like a bunch of eleven alphas and stuff that all of a sudden were like, Congratulations, you are now a thirty seven alpha psychological operations officer. Here's the manual. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like they're like uh, uh um <laughs> K? But before that it was a functional area. Huh. Speaking of special operations, uh, we've talked Stuff. about Stuff. Well, Dick Marcinko passed away on Christmas Day. Yep. I felt uh, once I knew I was on the podcast, somebody had to mention. I didn't realize he was 81 years old. God damn. Dick Marcinko was 81? Yeah. I I'd forgot, I'd forgotten wow. that he was in Vietnam. I didn't. So I read, going to infantry school, well, I read in Rogue Warrior. Dude, he was <laughs> fucking 81. I was like, holy shit, Dick Marcinko. Like, I was thinking like 70. Yeah. And then I looked at him like, oh shit, okay, fine. All right, 81 years old. That's some of those stuff with generals, man. Because they, you know, they serve at the pleasure of the president or whatever. So sure. it's like, you don't really like hit 30 years and they're like, you've done an outstanding service, sir. Like, it's just like, no, you can hang out until we tell you to go home. Well, <laughs> like, especially just, guys who are plank owners like SEAL Team 6. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, being around, he wrote all the books. And I mean, shit, I read Rogue well, did Warrior. Did he write the book? Or well, I know he wrote, he, well, him and another guy, but with like Rogue Warrior, like reading that going to infantry school because I needed to get in like the right mindset, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, but Jesus Christ, well, you, you know, what a fucking prep? legend. Huh? You needed an aggression primer? No, to simmer down a little. Oh, you needed to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what. I was a shitty fucking army officer. I was a hell of a fucking Marine. All right? I that, was a fucking you know hell what? of a Marine. Uh, that makes I can see total that. sense. Yeah, that makes way more sense. Yeah. Oh. If you as an army officer, I don't see it, man. Uh, oh, I, like, I took care of my guys, and people don't like that when you take care of the boys. Like, I can actually that's see because them. Because that's the staff and CEO's job. That's not your job. Your well, job, but I had a lot of, I had a lot of, I could see your team really liking you because the, because more of the Marine Corps mentality where it's kind of, everybody's a Marine, but yeah, you got to throw the gunny on there or whatever, but sure. it's really just, Hey Marine, Hey Marine, especially hey, as Marine. like a Lieutenant. I like, didn't have fucking great, like E sevens. I had good E sixes, yeah. but I had to almost be my own platoon sergeant when I came in Yeah, and it sucked because it's like, dude, I don't know how to do this job. I don't know how to tank. I can be, I'm a half-assed infantryman. I can do that. As like a squad leader, but I don't know how to fucking be a platoon commander, a platoon leader in the army. Teach me. And I was like, well, we're going to give the most experienced Desert Storm lieutenant who had been a gunner on a fucking tank in Desert Storm. We're going to give him the most experienced squared away dude. And me and a buddy of mine both got like shitty fucking platoon sergeants. That's like sucked. straight out the bat. And it sucked. But uh, anyway, anyway. Uh, but anyway, Dick Marcenko, fucking. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. I'll drink to that. Fair winds fall and seas. Mm. So it's uh what of drinks December the twenty seventh. How was everybody's Christmas? Christmas was good, man. I yeah. got chill. Yeah, me and Haley just fucking stayed at the house, enjoyed the. Boys. Did you get the crab cakes delivered and all that good stuff. No, no, I went lobster tail. Oh, okay. Yeah, I went cool. fucking. I went. Uh, I went a uh, fucking couple lobster tails and some solid fucking steaks, and then um, spoiled the shit out of the boys. Serving turf. Yeah, yeah. After uh, twenty something years of being on this planet. Cooking prime rib, I finally figured it out yesterday. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, we had we had a, we had a house guest uh, on on Saturday on Christmas Day, and his his plans kind of got screwed, so we ended up having Chinese food. So Obi, who's oh, been a guest really? on this, yeah. yeah. So we played pool and fucking drank, and then I cooked Christmas. Where the fuck dinner. does he sleep when he's when he's there? I was like, we, we, do you do you got a bed that's big enough for that? Mother? Yeah, we, we got. A, it's funny because we've got a, we got a queen upstairs in the guest room and. uh uh, we, we finally had to get that like squared away. It's really like OB proofed now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get to like reinforce the motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no. So that's it's what a we mattress did. on cinder blocks, dude. That is a large <laughs> man, dude. That is a large boy. Yeah. So he's uh, he's slowly but surely getting back into training with all his injuries. Yeah. Skipping worlds this year and how's next year. How's his shoulder feel? Better now. So skipping worlds this year and then we're gonna go one more shot. And I will be going wherever the hell that ends up being. Hopefully, England. Hopefully, I can fly. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that'll be the last. Did you spoil the boys? 
Oh, yeah. Nice. Of course, man. Those boys deserve it. <clears throat> fucking dickheads. I like this those fucking, boys. Is, are I all like the toys still intact? Or like they no. All, no, they all no broken. there's a lot of shit that's already broken. broken yeah. 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 Like, you oh, know, they don't make toys like they used you to. You spend so much fucking money on stuff, and then these fucking kids, man, they just break shit. Like... Fucking. That's why you just give it to them in pieces. Yeah, so right. Figure like, it out. well, you know, you know, it's going to be in pieces by the time you're done anyway. Well, they don't make I'm toys really, like they used to. I'm really proud That's of my boys, true. though. One of the biggest hit, the biggest hits, Legos. Because they Dude, they don't break. In fairness, and I got Legos whatever for the fuck Christmas. Yeah, I got Legos. Because so, <laughs> like, I got the Imperial probe droid from Star Wars. Nice. Uh, yeah, I know. So, yeah, I'm, and I was I'm aware. I know. I do all your gifts way before you. Yeah, did. Probably, <laughs> all your apparently gifts. everybody did. Yeah. So everybody kept looking at me like, "Dude, you're gonna be stoked on Christmas," and I was like. The fuck! Yeah, I'm, like, I'm still really pissed off that I haven't gotten your wife's gift in the mail yet. Like I'm fucking angry about it. Have you even heard from them? No. Hopefully, it won't be like ours from last year. <laughs> we we get it like in August. August. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking bullshit! I find these cool ass <laughs> gifts for people because I I try to be as thoughtful yeah, as dope. possible. It was a dope gift. You know, I try to be as thoughtful as possible when it comes to these these days because like, and I've said it on the show before, and Jazz knows my take on this very well. Like, yeah, I don't, don't need, need a, a fucking to get day. A gift. Yeah, if I see something that I think that you're going to fucking love, I'm going to buy it for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's just the right thing to do. Like, for instance, Big Jim today, he brought me in a fucking present. It, you know, it, was, it was meant to be a gag, but it was a fucking good gag gift, man. He brought me in a fucking red beret with an Eagle Globe and Anchor on it. Like, you know, because I'm... I have more jumps than fucking most of the 82nd at this point, and I'm about to be a, I'm about to be a jump master. Fuck. So, like... You're so confused. I know, right? <laughs> like, fuck. Um, and because of that, like he brought me a red braid just as like a thing and some jump boots, like some fucking nice Cochran's fucking well-broken. So it right, it's maroon. Is that what it is? It is a maroon, it's a maroon beret. beret. It's maroon beret. Whatever. It's not red beret. It's, it's still a red fucking, beret is British. It's still a fucking no, surrender. I, but, maroon they, beret. but their beret though is maroon. Like the, the, but pack, they the call regiment. them red berets. Yeah, but it's, it's but the, everybody's the U S army refers to it as a maroon, maroon beret. Oh, okay. Yeah. But everybody, every just so that forces. way, when you go to an army reenactment paratroop thing, you're not like, "Well, I got a red beret, <laughs> right?" It's maroon. Like, like, it's maroon. Yeah, no, I'll call it red. Just piss them off. Yeah. <laughs> now you need to get the soft sided jump boots. Which ones are those? So the jump boots themselves aren't like full; they're not full shafted leather. They've got a there's a softed ankle in it so that they maneuver. Oh, nice! I jump. You, probably, you still have your jump I just boots? Jump around? in jungles, dude. I or, but jungles are the same thing. They just have green in them. Yeah. <laughs> they're, but they're jump boots with a green panel instead of black. Like, oh, I mean, that's what I got issued, though, was the fucking same jungle. jungles with black. Like, yeah. So jump boots, though, have a. Yeah. I don't know. They're jump boots. Anyways, I appreciate the gift, buddy. Thank you. Well, I love you, Mikey. So Thanks, that's, buddy. That's what I, I Thank got you that. We got you the picture. The picture's amazing, too. You got me this awesome picture of a C 130 uh, with, like, with a. Uh, what was it? What is it? The C 17. It's a C 17. Yeah. I don't fucking with guys jumping out, with guys I, I, jumping out without like, the uh, correct uh, with sh terrible form. Yeah. It looks like it's definitely <laughs> students, definitely students jumping. Uh, their their feet and knees are not together, but it's still awesome. I like my gift. Yeah, yeah. And then Christmas came. He he got us yeah, all. Christmas uh, got he got us warfighter tobacco cups. Yeah, with that like, look like a cigar. Huge that looked like a cigar. Yeah, it was awesome, phenomenal. And I I appreciate it, buddy. I'm actually. Oh, I like you. <laughs> you know what's awesome is this is actually small enough to fit my mini's cup holder. See? Fucking I. Fucking It's my only complaint about my car. So <laughs> you hosted. I did host Christmas. I did. How'd that go? How was your Cornish game hens? I don't. I don't. It, I. I don't. You ate it. Like you, you fucking <laughs> chime in. I'm not going to talk about my own food. It was good. Yeah. They were good. Because I literally yeah. ran around the asking H everybody. HEVs? The game heads. No, I got them from Costco. Because uh, HEB is doing like really good. Well, he had like non seventeen frozen. people there, so you yeah, had to get a pallet. Yeah, I had oh. to get like I had to get buy them in bulk. <laughs> uh, I get it. Yeah, I get it. No, it, at the end of the day, I think I had fifteen people for Christmas. Oh wow! So, so it was. Get uh, an invite, fuck you. Yeah, I, I knew you had guests. I asked you about Christmas. No, you told me you had people coming in. I didn't either, but he was like, "You have children." Oh, well, I knew you'd say no. <laughs> it's like the barbarian horde fucking overtaking poor Jazz's house. <laughs> so, but uh, no, like it was it was really cool. So my family that was in town minus Justin because he went to Houston. Right. Uh, yeah. wait, he, no, it, his reasons for going to Houston are solid. Like it, it oh, wasn't like it. a well, fuck you. Don't spend Christmas with me. It wasn't that kind of situation. Right. But uh, my grandmother was there. My uncle was there. Uh, my mom and my dad were there, which was kind of cool. Because they get to Chris in the house. Well, they divorced thirty five years ago, so having both oh. my parents there was cool. Yeah. Oh, that's um, cool. So my stepdad, my dad's girlfriend, uh, and then all of Caitlin's siblings came, uh, that's good, man. and. Uh, her older brother's girlfriend came. How about Jackson? 
uh, Jackson there. Jackson was there. Yeah, <laughs> Jackson was there. Uh, and then He's Dave, kid. Dave and John came. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I had a I had a full and then Lavely fucking flew in on Christmas, so he yeah. came over. So yeah, I had a full house, and I found out Lavely was gonna be here like fucking three hours before the party was starting, and I was yeah. like. Yeah, fuck it, dude. I can't promise you a plate because I don't know if like everybody's gonna make it. But if there's food, you can have it. And yeah. then it turned out I can't count and had more fucking hens than I actually well, needed. You can, so you can fucking fire up the sides. You're good, you know. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, we I I feel like I put on a pretty good spread. Yeah, dude, nice. Haley made a uh, white cheddar mac and cheese. Okay. There you go. With like bow tie, fucking uh, like fucking. That's what I did pasta. It was farfalle. Farfalle, yeah. Yeah. Fucking amazing. So dude. mine was. Uh, I was like, hail. It was pepper. Like, I'm making it once a year because this is a pain in the ass. Yeah, the mac and cheese <laughs> I made was a uh, pepper jack and cheddar. So that got baked, and then it got pulled, retopped with cheddar and some of my homemade bacon, and then put on the smoker to bring back up to temp. Good man. And that's how I served it. It didn't suck. Good man. And then I did a uh, homemade stuffing, scallop potatoes, the Cornish game hens. My grandmother brought this really good salad. You did homemade stuffing? Yeah. I'm surprised at you. Made it from scratch. I thought you were. Uh, you, I thought you were on team stovetop. I know, but with me. I I am, but I wanted to make an apple cranberry <laughs> stuffing to go with the hens. Oh, and gotcha. So, but it fucking got destroyed. So it must okay. not have sucked because there was like, I made, you know, those giant old school like camp roasting pans, like the yeah. blue and white fleck, like old sure. school steel ones. Yeah. It was a whole one of those of stuffing, and I there was nothing left in it when I was done. So fucking I. It must not have sucked too bad. And then fucking Lavely's over here is like, I'm fat. I ate it all. And then. Uh, <laughs> fucking john destroyed dessert yeah uh, what was dessert that wasn't that wasn't my my fault uh caitlin made a uh a black tie moose cake and, ja- and jazz ordered for me <laughs> so <laughs> everybody was gone well most of the people were gone and so uh john and dave and myself and lavely and my wife went outside and we're having cigars and having drinks and decided we we're gonna play cards against humanity so we're out there playing and my wife's inside and she was like who wants cake and it was like, yeah, I love cake. And I yelled out thinking John would correct me and actually thinking that my wife would know it was a joke. Said, John said he wants a double sized slice. And my wife brought him a slice of black tie moose cake wow. that I shit you not must have been five inches thick. Yeah. <laughs> and five inches wide. It was like a fucking block. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck, man? What was it good? I fucking ate every piece of that thing. It was <laughs> so good. <laughs> so I have a good. Look at his cheeks. Look at him. <laughs> I have a question for you, there, beardless wonder over yeah. here. Uh, are you are you are you taking advantage of not having a beard? But how eating lots of soup, ice cream cones, <laughs> you know, runny so eggs. I, I haven't know. had vagina. I I haven't had any foods uh, that I haven't normally eaten. Yet. Yeah, uh, I, I like would. That would be the, that would be like the that only that reason tried. I would. Fuck I just want to point out that he didn't. He said foods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm sure once she saw the fucking face, she was like, "Yeah, let's yeah, give this a whirl. Right, let's test let's drive this let's, at least. Let's, let's give this a job. Let's, let's give this job a whirl." Like. Now I'll sit instead of hover. <laughs> 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 I mean, uh, he's not denying, so it must must have yeah. worked out well. Uh, um, no, I haven't tried any foods yet. I would have like I would have went ice cream cone first. That's that's gonna be a moment I go to soon. I would have went yeah. straight to Dairy Queen, got a dip cone, and been like, oh, it's not all over my fucking face. This is nice. Right? <laughs> my mustache isn't covered. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, It doesn't look like you just blew a clown. Yeah, right? It's just fucking... Beat me to it, but okay. Yeah. So that's, that was that's Christmas. Only, that's only if they're sprinkled, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, question, what do you call sprinkles? sprinkles? Well, it depends what color. Well, it I'm de- not... I'm, depends on where you're from. Well, us three are going to call chocolate <laughs> sprinkles the jimmies. same. They're jimmies. Yeah. <laughs> they're fucking jimmies, and apparently that is racist, and we're not allowed to say no, that. No, it's not racist, because the, well, the multicolor ones are rainbow jimmies. Wait, what? So it's not racist. Uh, I always knew those were sprinkles. Well, they're See, sprinkles or rainbow are sprinkles jimmies. Are sprinkles. I grew up, they were always sprinkles, and jimmies were condoms. So... So Jimmy's were chocolate sprinkles. We, I like, I like yeah. calling, I so the calling idea condoms like, rubbers. Hey, yeah, well, <laughs> rubbers. Could you throw a handful of Jimmy's on my ice cream for me? It's like, eh, no, nah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> That's weird. Well, listen, it's going to be a hard pass. <laughs> Why is my ice cream chewy? <laughs> it's got rubbers on it. <laughs> They're fucking Jimmy's. They're Jimmy's. Yeah. yeah. Except when yeah. you say that. And when, yeah, when, did, when did that become racist? Well, I, I don't know, man. So is math, apparently. So well, I, <laughs> like, no, math only only became once you get like past, uh, I don't know, halfway through New York State, they become it becomes like a racist thing. I don't, I don't even know, know how. Considering like literally we Ridiculous. got the Apollo mission to the moon and back. 
because a black person did outstanding math on like a notebook. Yeah. <laughs> like, so how the fuck is math racist? I don't know, man. It's numbers. Like, how are black sprinkles fucking racist? I don't know. I mean, they're chocolate sprinkles. You're racist. They're Jimmy's. <laughs> Technically speaking, brown isn't a color. It's an oversaturated orange. So yeah, burnt sienna. We're blade running here, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's weird. Uh, that's weird. Fuck. So I'm glad to hear everybody had a good Christmas. Yeah, man. Well, I know it's your favorite holiday, buddy. Yeah, I thought the house looked good. Yeah, I was pretty happy with the uh, the way the Christmas. So it was funny. That was, that was my up. first time going to Jazz's house. Did like? Oh, you were there for the move-in. That's yeah. right. No, it wasn't. Yeah, Santa getting, fucking explode all over the fucking. You were getting skunked in fucking yeah Colorado. Colorado. Yeah. So I I, I asked for his address, or I didn't even ask for it because it was on the the invite. So I get there and I see Dave's vehicle, and I see Jazz and Caitlin's vehicle, and I open the like I just half knock and open the door like it's Christmas. Sure, you know. Half knock, I open the door. I don't see Jazz. I don't see Caitlin. I don't see Dave. Well, because their, their living room's all in the back of the house. But, so, like, when you first walk in, see, if we there's nothing the there, yeah. it's like, and I don't see anybody. All I see is a house full of people that I don't recognize. <laughs> and you and I have, like, presents, and, and I shave, shaved, right? So nobody recognizes you. And so I'm like, Merry Christmas. And people are like, Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. <laughs> and so I'm like, <laughs> and I still don't see anybody I recognize. So I'm like, house. fuck, did I just walk into some random person's house on Christmas? <laughs> So I start like looking around at like the decorations and the pictures and everything, and then, and then I see Jazz's humidor, and I'm like, oh no, I'm in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If the idea of my house is the humidor, I'm okay with it. Yeah, that's not <laughs> bad. <laughs> like, there's, there's worse things for your house to be ID'd by. Yeah, fucking I. <laughs> no, we yeah. just kind of we just we kept it low key, man. It was nice and it was chill, and but then yesterday. I had steak again because I had more steaks to cook. I wasn't sure what kind of steak Haley wanted for Christmas. So I got some strips and I got some sirloins. Mm -hmm. And she was like, I just want sirloins for Christmas. And I was like, okay. And I was like, well, we got to cook these two. And she's like, well, I was like, you want me to cook them tonight? She's like, cook them tomorrow. So, okay. So that means I got to cook again, which I, it's, I'm fine with. You know what I mean? But um, I'll tell you one thing. The fucking, the, uh, the steaks I had last night, the strips, motherfucker. I love New York strips. I did a fucking... Yeah. I'm going to toot my own horn. Yeah, strips are awesome. These things were amazing, man. Like Strips are awesome. Lots of... You know me, I'm more of a I'm more of a filet guy. Like, I like I'm, I like. You're an aristocrat. I'm, yeah, I'm fancy like yeah. that. Like, I like filets. See, I like strip and I like ribeye, and the reason being is that I like the fat, but it's because when I started cooking all my steaks reverse sear, so they, you know, they do like an hour to an hour and a half, mm -hmm. it renders all that fat yeah. into the meat, Yeah. but I don't trim mine. I leave the fat... A bar on the back of the steak. Yeah. So then, and then I sear it with that on there, and you just sure. you just don't eat that. You just cut sure, around just it, cut it off. But it renders all that fat into the meat, and just the flavor you get out of that is well, just so nuts. Yeah, Plus, I, I get I a really nice it. hard sear because you get that fat float that's on the right. outside of it, and then when it hits that cast iron, and just yeah, yeah. I didn't, like I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't trim anything, uh, and it, I just literally I, like the sirloins I grilled and then reverse seared in the kitchen on the on the fucking. Uh, on the cast iron and then i didn't even i just i pre-seared the fucking strips cooked them regular like on the, on the grill and then let them rest and then i did uh like sauteed onions yeah and threw onions on there's them. nothing wrong with that they were fucking it's just it's, now i just like the reverse sear so much that Christ sure. that's christmas eve i did a prime rib and uh i had some leftovers so christmas day um sent them over to madison's parents house and uh and it was funny her dad <laughs> he's like you did a fucking prime rib? He's like, what are you, fucking rich? <laughs> <laughs> well, have you seen the fucking prices on those no, things lately? So I, Holy I told him. He's Actually, like, he's like, where'd you get it? Back down. He's like, where'd you get it? I was like, I, I was at Costco, and I saw yeah, him, yeah, and yeah. they had four left, and so I picked one up because it was 12 bucks a pound. I was in Costco. I was at oh, HEB just before that, yeah, and they were $24 I was, I was in I got Costco. mine at HEB. They're, they're, I mean, if you got like. Yeah. I was in Costco when they were putting them out, yeah. and they were literally, they were moving all of like. It was like pork loin. They were emptying out one of the, the coolers with yeah. oh, the pork loin. And the dude stand there. And, and all of a sudden, I just hear this dude yell out. And he was like, prime ribs going out. And he literally started. And literally, it just like, like people flocked. flocked around <laughs> it and was just stripping the shit out. And I was like, wow. holy shit. Yeah. It was but it's a traditional Christmas dinner. So, sure. yeah. Speaking of traditional, what do you guys do for New Year's? Huh. Stay away from idiots. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's Everybody kind of bunkers down. So I don't do any of the like greens and black eyed peas and anything. I don't, no, I don't do any do that shit. shit. I do Kahlua pig. What? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I make Kahlua pig. 
It's no. like fucking. Is that why we're going Wednesday? What was it? Yeah. Huh? Is that why we're going Wednesday? No. Well, fuck maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you could, I could do it. Shit. Um, all, all you need is a back strap. You get a loin, get a solid loin, and you can do it. You used to get one piglet. Yeah. The whole fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. Fucking I. No. Uh, yeah, we do clue a pig on on New Year's for some reason. That's fucking. Well, last know. New Year's, last New Year's, I went to your place. Jim, he's looking at you. I went to your place for New Year's last yeah, we, year. Yeah, because we don't want to deal with the fucking. Because I don't want to go anywhere either. Oh, yeah, like, it's cool. We're, we're turning all out. the fire pits and shit on outside. Yeah. We talked about this on the last show. Yeah. Are like, you doing that again? We we can because we're gonna go. I think uh, you should just probably come with us. We're gonna day drink. There's a bar up in Spring Branch or somewhere that's got like it's a treehouse Connex bar. We're gonna go drink during the day, and then like bunker down at night so we might we well might that's why it. we took the invite because it was yeah. like whatever he's gonna have like a good group i can smoke i can drink like right. i don't have to worry about any fucking shenanigans happening at wherever the fucking maybe we'll celebrate. maybe i'll talk to i'll talk like to midnight maybe hit, we'll do that. i kissed my wife like everybody shook if hands if we get everybody to do it we'll do that i'd rather do that last year was a good time yeah it was a great time i, yeah. I might be up in fredericksburg well it was a great time till it tried to rain but no, we, we got i was the, in fredericksburg last year it was snowing Oh wow! Yeah, I was up there for my buddy's now, wedding. Oh yeah, that's yeah. where you went for that. Yeah, day, yeah. Jim's on New Year's was actually a really good fucking time. Yeah. Fucking and it was mellow, and the beer and the booze was. I mean, great. if we do that, you bring the kids. Like whatever, we're sitting down in front of the fucking. And then Netflix. wherever that pizza sure. place is that you brought food in from. Oh, we got fucking New York Pizza Pie. Oh, God, yeah. so we just got to order early, dude. Um, because you and us and everybody else fucking <laughs> it was doing really the same good. goddamn thing. Yeah. So there's a there's a festival coming up. Haley told me about it yesterday. She got it, she got me tickets for my birthday. The testicle festival? It's not the testicle festival. It's steak, whiskey, and wine. Yes, we're going to that. Up in up in uh oh, it's up by fucking Fredericksburg. Yeah. It's yeah. in the uh, it's on January fifteenth. Yeah. Did yeah. you it's send me? It's that? my birthday. Yeah, we're doing we're I think going you sent yeah, me that. Yeah, we're fucking we're we're hitting that up for my birthday. Well okay. So we'll have to link up then because we're going I. That. yeah. Yeah, and then I think we're gonna we're just gonna cruise because it's outside of Fredericksburg where it's at. Yeah. yeah. And we're just gonna cruise up to Fredericksburg and get fucking hammered yeah. for the night. Well stay there. So Stand by. <laughs> let, me, let me find out where my bro- my brother in law has an Airbnb. Oh, nice! And let me let's see if we can just try Mikey. to crash there instead. Mikey, an Airbnb. An Airbnb. That's that means squatting. <laughs> no, this this place is. Yeah, yeah. If it's anything like their Airbnb, it's a million dollar home. Yeah, get the, the fuck out of here. Yeah. Fredericksburg, man. Okay, yeah, that's true. Well, it was a million dollar home. Now after COVID, it's like a two point five million yeah, dollar home. Say, now yeah. it's fucking wicked. It's, it's nice. Yeah, they're gonna let all of us degenerates into that fucking house. Why not? <laughs> that fucker owes me, man. <laughs> that fucker owes me. No, but yeah, let's see if we can try. I'll, I'll talk to the old lady and we'll try to swing this thing. So we, okay, we're not, we're not paying. Who's that, whose place is it? So it's uh, you remember my my brother in law Eli. Eli? Well, yeah, the Julian, they, they run the construction company. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think I met Eli once. Mike. I mean, I know Leon. I yeah, don't know. Leon, yeah. Yeah. Everybody knows Leon. Yeah. I do not love Fucking Leon. Built this? Yeah. Built this fine piece of... Uh, More importantly... Woodery? He's built, he's built a little piece of my heart. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if woodery is a word. I don't think it is. That yeah, is. Woodery. Woodery? We make, up, we make up words here. Yeah. <laughs> what, was, what, was, what was Scott's word? Belivalent. 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 <laughs> Belivalent. But we're definitely going to that thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think we are too. Um, she told me about it. Yep. And then I wanted, I, I, I had mentioned before, I wanted to invite you guys out for the shenanigans the night before. There is a yeah. bar in Fredericksburg that has oh, bucks. Pappy. <laughs> it has all high end booze. We need to go and. Yeah. You know who has Pappy on the shelf? Fucking I declare. Mm-hmm. I went yeah. in there. We were having dinner. I looked up. And they had like fucking three years of Pappy up there. And I was like, Whiskey cake, man. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, Whiskey, whiskey cake carries them too. But, uh, I'm telling you, you really need to go in that bar. You're, you're going to walk no, in and Jazz is going to be like, I'm never fucking leaving. I don't. <laughs> like, I don't right now. Well, that's the problem. Because I'm unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to go in the bar like that right now. $50 for the cheap Pappy. Yeah. And then we'll go up from there. Yeah. Uh, no, so there's this bar. Pappy's bar. not that great. Though, I've man. actually had Pappy. It's and, overhyped. Uh, yeah, but. It's they have they have that they've got they've got Boss Hog they've got all kinds of Japanese whiskeys they've got all kinds of high end ready I'm gonna make one of our fans want to fight on site Maker's Forty Six is better than Pappy Yep I Wood, agree Most Woodford is better than Pappy I However, agree There's gonna be some motherfucker yeah. with a four hundred dollar barrel No 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 like, <laughs> We're fucking eat a bet and I'm put on a fucking bed Well dude like, if you've got a four hundred dollar but bring that shit on because that's Evan like Evan Williams that. is better than Pappy Yeah yeah it's not good. Everything else out of the Buffalo Trace Distillery, outstanding. Yeah. Happy, fucking disappointing. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I like a Eagle Rare. 
I'm like, oh, I love Eagle Rare, man. Eagle Rare is fucking yeah. where it's at. Still got two bottles in my bar because you can't find it anywhere. You can't get it in the state of Texas. Shit's like it's like a 14 week wait. I just talked to fucking Total Wine about it. So Whiskey Cake has uh, their their uh, they have a house blend of Regal Rare that's specifically selected for their restaurants. Have you seen year. the uh, Double Eagle Ultra Rare? It's like a twelve hundred dollar bottle of no. Eagle Rare. Literally Google it right now. Look up Double Eagle Ultra Rare. The bottle it comes in is just stupid. Yeah, we don't have we don't have our regular fingers. I got to do this shit myself tonight. God damn it! Double Eagle Ultra Rare. It's, uh, <laughs> you should text text them. <laughs> okay, I need look, you to look this up. You're fucking it up. It's one of my <laughs> bottles I actually got from Kibby because he went to a fucking. Uh, he lives in uh, New England, so it's all you know package stores and shit up there. But he went to whatever his local package store was. And Double was sitting Eagle. On the very Ultra, rare. Very rare. And uh, he literally went to the package store, and there was Eagle Rare sitting there for like thirty-eight bucks a bottle. Absolutely, so he was oh, like, "Oh yeah, yoink!" and brought it to me, and was like, "Here you go, bud." <laughs> I was like, "That's got a cool bottle. Yeah. It's a super cool bottle." I'll With never fucking Eagle on the top. I'll never pay that money though. No, no, not for that. Yeah, no. And I really like Eagle Rare, like two hundred bucks, like John's two hundred dollars. Yeah, the bottle their, I got here's you. Their, here's their tasting yeah, notes. That, Even after two decades of aging in an oak barrel, this bourbon whiskey is surprisingly balanced. Hints of vanilla, toasted oak, and caramel lead to a gracefully aged oaky flavor. 20 like years of fucking aging, you know it better be fucking You know balanced. what happened with that? Somebody, somebody forgot about somebody it. Somebody fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Guarantee it. And that's no, they, they somebody fucked they up like, the barrel uh, rotation, uh, and that shit somehow yeah. kept getting they're, rotated. They're and rotating. Never bottled. They pulled out these fucking things, and there's a whole fucking stack of 10 barrels, and they're like, where the fuck? And somebody dated one of them, and they're like, holy shit, we've had these things for 20 years. They're like, sweet, put it in a bottle, sell for 1400 dude, bucks. They're fucking, dude, <laughs> talk to, go, do, do the tour at Buffalo Trace. The guys doing the tour will be like, it's a fucking racket. Yep. The, every fucking thing they do is all marketing. Yep. yep. They had a lightning strike on, on the side of one of the rick oh houses. Oh, my God. And yeah. they were like, oh, yeah. And it was like 80, 80 barrels. Yep. And they're like, we're going to do a special lightning strike fucking the E.H. Uh, e. Taylor. And uh, there was you know, an E.H. Taylor. I, it was the lightning E.H. Taylor. And it was like, I think, 400 bottles or something like that after it was all said and done. Jesus. And they literally never made it to stores. Like it was all sold before anybody. A lot of that, they, they will do if they do a small run. A lot of stuff will go go like fourteen, fifteen hundred dollar bottle will go to like charity, and then they'll they'll, yeah. they'll pick a pick a charity. So I'll give them that. The yeah. thing with the H Taylor is if you if you're ever in any liquor store and you see an E H Taylor that doesn't have a black autograph on it, buy it and put it on the secondary market. Because all the E H Taylors have that black signature yeah. on the front of them. If it has any of the other colors, it'll be like red or blue or any of those. If you see it, buy it. Don't open it. Find one of the secondary sites. You can literally fucking triple your money on that bottle. Wow. It's. I, I hate having a friggin' do that because then you're taking you're you're you're, you're buying into a friggin' thing that doesn't exist. It's just bourbon. Oh, yeah, like NFTs. Yeah. yeah. Like NFTs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even get that. Well, I don't like, even want to know. That's like I have a sneaker collection and I've got ones that I could quote unquote flip because yeah. I have a very common shoe size and I could flip them but it's like I didn't buy these so that I could make money on them I bought them so I could wear them yeah like same reason well, I buy booze like I, I buy I, this booze so I can yeah. drink this I shit. appreciate that you wear your shit I wear all of mine yeah like I know I've seen you wear your fucking Louis Vuitton sneaker, sneakers and I'm like Jazz what the fuck are you doing John saw what I got for Christmas yep. what mom get you this time a Louis Vuitton duffel bag Jesus Christ what's the matter with you you were, you were by far the favorite <laughs> she gave my like, wife, she gave my wife a Louis checker purse, and I don't mean like a little one. It's like the big dude, fuck you, Louis checker dude, purse. You are you are by far the favorite child. And she gave me a brand new. <laughs> she gave me a brand new espresso machine. Jesus <laughs> man, spoiled as fuck. Remember his birthday? Yeah, when he walks out with like fucking like five grand worth of Louis shit just sitting there. And he's they just were, like, check it out. They're like six hundred. <laughs> they're not five grand. My mother gave me um for my birthday two. Not this last one, but the one before that. She gave me Louis sneakers and a matching Louis wallet. And then this Christmas, she gave me a Louis duffel bag. an aristocrat, this guy. I know, dude. Because I oh. mentioned at one time that I wanted, like, I was like, I, I really want a Louis carry-on for when I travel. Just so I can be that fucking guy. So I can get on my Southwest flight and throw my Louis bag in the overhead bin. <laughs> <laughs> and just <be> like... <laughs> It's, so like, she got it's, like having a, it's having a Mercedes and you live in an apartment complex. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm the same way with watches, so I don't fucking. I, I can't see shit, so. I got a watch for Christmas, actually. What'd uh, you get? Uh, nothing fancy. Uh, so I had a secret Santa at work. <coughs> and this dude hooked me the fuck up, man. I got like a watch fucking bottle opener combo thing. And then he gave me like the fucking 
full Gerber hunting fucking life, like with the with the hatchet and the fucking machete and the hunt and the Fuck blade and all that. Give me all this shit. He gave me um like what the fuck else was there? <laughs> Did you get it was a bunch of shit. I was like, fuck, man. It sounds like he got a Christmas bonus. <laughs> right? It's better than a coin. Fuck. <laughs> um, and then uh, we'll get to that later. <laughs> it's, uh, and then, um, uh, yeah, I saw him today and I was like, Alex, what the fuck, man? And he's like, what? I was like, you were the best Secret Santa that's ever been. <laughs> and he's like, oh, thanks. Are you, not, are you not supposed to know who your Secret Santa is? Well, they did a reveal after the fact. After yeah. the fact. Uh, yeah. Speaking of presents, can you hand? The Macallan. Oh, yeah. So we are drinking a fine scotch whiskey this evening. Yes. Um, the old Macallan edition number nine, number six. It's not going to last long. It, it's not going to make the show. Yeah, it is. I need a little more ice and then I'm going to top off, too. It is yeah, fucking solid, get, man. Go so good old Rich Lavely, our fucking stand in producer sir. for the evening and our fucking moderator for the Facebook page. And <laughs> just all around fucking degenerate that we all know and love fucking brought He's, us in this nice little bottle and it is fucking tasty buddy is, so thank you yeah. you know what i love about lavely huh. is he's just white trash that earned money that's what i love about him is that he's like he's totally fucking like that mass hole white trash but he did well for himself oh, this and kid's made got a bunch dorchester of money written all and, over him 100%. and then it was just like he was like <laughs> does he like, look like he's from dorchester yeah, yeah. no it's just, he looks like he's from exactly where he's from where, where, are, you from? where are you from though Attleboro. Oh, no! <laughs> He's fucking Attleboro. So, yeah. but it, it, There's I a whole it. lot of mass hole in this room right now. Oh, because my God, dude. All, I got a bunch of buddies from, well, North Attleboro, which is, like, Lavely worse. Lavely is Jesus. no class, all cash. And that's what I fucking like about it. Lavely is like school like, in the summertime. Yep. No class. <laughs> no class. <laughs> fucking Attleboro. But the, <clears throat> but the nice thing is, is that, the, the thing with Lavely is that remember that conversation that we had about like if you want a billion dollars everybody yeah. comes up with you yeah right so like uh, Lavely's he, he's way smarter than he looks that's like, not hard because he looks I'm looking at him and fucking you, fair you look dee- he kind of looks like he's gonna say like two plus two is fish yeah, <laughs> yeah. <Right. laughs> so, one fish but, two uh, fish red fish five yeah <laughs> <laughs> But he is one of those ones that, like, if one of his investment pays off or he does well or one of his side hustles pays or whatever, and he's like, I got some cash, everybody gets to enjoy it. Sure. So it's things like, hey, I did pretty well this week and on my side hustle stuff. So you know what? McAllen fucking whatever number fuck. nine for everybody. Yeah, or sure. like, hey, I'm in town. You let me hang out at your house. Not stay at my house because he rented his own place. You let me hang out at your house. Wherever you want to go, steak dinner's on me. Like, let me take you. And da, 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 da. Like, so he's one of those ones that, like, if I'm doing I hope well. You like Fleming's. Yeah. That's where he's, that's where he wants to go. So, uh, but he's one of those ones that, like, if I'm doing well, I want to enjoy it with the people that matter to me. What's the like, point? Sure. Otherwise. Yeah, because otherwise it's just like you can just you, sit around and look you at can't your take numbers. It with you. Yeah, you know, fuck so, it, man. Fuck like, no. But he's a total fucking shitbag, and I love him for it. Yeah, so. dude, that's just not off- that much of a shitbag. No, off- he is. I know oh, he's hundred percent a fucking shitbag. That's authenticity Jim, give it time. at its finest. Right, right, right. <laughs> well, he's a fucking Alabaro, dude. So I already like that kid anyway. Why do you think I turned the mic off over there? So, uh, thanks, buddy. This is uh, absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, it's fucking phenomenal. I'm I don't even a- like scotch, and this is delicious. Dangerously yeah. phenomenal. I wish you liked scotch, because I've been trying to fucking pawn off a fucking bottle of good scotch on you. For <laughs> we, we got a bottle of good scotch over here if you want it. No, no. Yeah. There's, there's three bottles of double black over no. there. <laughs> they yep, had some work done. No, that, that's not good. Uh, oh, the Lagavulin. Yeah, Lagavulin yeah. 8. It's delicious. Is that good? You no. should have it. I mean, it's it's uh, a little more peaty than uh, you probably sh- like. You're pushing. You're pushing. <laughs> it's not. A, it's not. Fucking Put a flame to it. <laughs> oh yeah, it'll blow up. It's got a. It's got a little. It's got a little mossy in there, but it's not. It's not bad. It's not bad. Jim's the same way though. Like if you go to Jim's house, he'll literally point at his bar. It's and be like, drink whatever you bad. want. It's bad. It's a bad. It's it's, yeah, it's, it's not. not a, it's it's not. These guys want zero peat flavor though. Like that. It, that's got a Who touch of it, us? but. Uh, I brought that in. That was that bottle exchange that you did, right? No. Did you get it from bottle no, exchange? No, no. I think <laughs> I just had that in the house. This can't be the only, this can't be the only, like, uh, yeah, this is probably fucking awful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. Expensive problem. You know what's it's funny, horrible. though, is that I really don't like scotch, but I want the fucking, uh, I want that log of woolen that, uh, what's that actor's name? Oh, from Nick, Parks o- Nick Offerman. Nick Offerman. That's, that's this. No, there's a, it's the same distillery, yeah. but there's a there's a Nick Offerman bottle yeah, it's, blended it's, with his dad. It's Lagavulin 8, though. It's the same shit. Yeah, but it's like yeah. it comes in a box and it's all. Mm-hmm. 
I just like to have that box. I just like the bottle. Just because like, I'm a big fan of Ron it. Swanson. Yeah. Yeah. I have the coffee mug that says Woman of the Year with him on it. Nice. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite mugs. Jim's the same way, though. Like, you go to his house, and he's got an impressive collection. He'll literally be like, take whatever you want. And I'm like, well, I'll drink the open stuff. He's like, fuck it. Like, if it's not open, open it. Like, it's like fucking, no. it's like, there to be drank. It's there like, to be fucking, drank. So, no, I mean, like, what's the point? I mean, you, you watch, you watch you know, a bunch of, like, the documentaries on, on, on bourbon and stuff, and everybody's like, the shit, I don't care how much this is. Like, it's it's meant to be shared with people. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. If it's sitting there with a bunch of dust on it and you pass it on and you sell it for like whatever McAllen went for like, uh, yeah. McAllen 20 went for a couple of million dollars. Yeah, stupid. What's the point of that? It's, what's, what, it's not so much what's the point. It's what are the chances of one of us getting a bottle well. that's going to be worth a million dollars in 20 years? Nothing. Oh, is it empty? Because you, you know, know what's going to happen yeah. is in 20 years I can tell the story about how like... <laughs> Fuck me and a bunch of my shithead friends sat on my patio and drank that million dollar bottle exactly. of booze when I got it for a hundred dollars. That's a better story than like a better collecting story. Yeah. Come on. Well, and I think we're all kind of that way because fuck, you were at my house on Christmas and yeah. somebody was like, "Where can I get a drink?" And you were like, "There's some Black Barrel there." And Jazz has a collection around the corner. It wasn't even his house. And no, he was just like, "Go take whatever the fuck you want." <laughs> <laughs> well, like, fuck the, f- the first time you walked into my place, I poured you the fucking JMO signature. I was like, "Jazz, you got to try this." Man, pulled it out you from know? behind the bar and was like, like "Here you go." Yeah. I mean, because well, like, like I said, like, you can't take it with you. You came over and I was like, have you had Bow Street? And he was like, no, I haven't had Bow Street. And I was like, we're fixing that. Yeah, like, we're I, fucking, did, I did the same thing. Yeah, I came to your I, place and you were like, yo. I was fucking. like, have you had this? And he was like, nope. And he was like, we're pouring it. Yeah. And, well, same. I'd never had Signature. And yeah. you were like. It's happening. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I have three pretty high end bottles at my house that are just for like, hey, have you ever had this? No. Okay. You should try it. Scott yeah. did the same thing. Yeah. Scott got gifted a bottle of JMO 18. Yeah. The first time I went to his house, he was like, when was the last time you had 18? And I was like, I had Bow Street. I haven't had just the straight 18. He was like, you will today. And yeah. literally popped the bottle and started pouring. I got a bottle of 18 at the house for the same reason. But that's because it's fucking what delicious. What the fuck's the point? Like, so you have it. It's like cigars and shit like that. You came there's, over and I was like, there's my big humidor. If you do a 180 sitting on the bottom shelf is my aging humidor. Pop it. Take whatever the fuck you want out of it. Sure. Like, there's one bottle of booze in my house that hasn't been opened. Hmm. And I don't know if I'm going to open it or not. And it's not because I'm saving it because it's going to be valuable one day or anything like that. It's because it's weed infused absinthe from the Czech Republic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It might murder somebody. It might kill so, somebody. It is. So when I, John, but, but when I we, open uh, it, <laughs> it's an all or nothing bottle. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I'm not going to open it and have a couple sips. I'm opening it and I'm fucking finding a new planet. So, <laughs> or I'm not touching this. <laughs> do, you have, do you have an absinthe fountain? An absinthe fountain. So yeah, you gotta have a fountain. So, no, I used to drink absinthe Drips quite a bit. Over actually, a sugar cube. Oh, so one it's a, of those. It's yeah, an yeah, ice yeah. fountain, and then you. No, I don't. So know. you have the spoon. You put it over your glass. And you put the sugar cube. That's not it an aristocrat. I mean, like, well, yeah. we could get do, one of those. Do you I, have one? Yes, I used to. I got, of course you do. I got the spoon and stuff like that, but I don't yeah. have the fountain. Oh, so almost all the bottles will come with the yeah. the spoon for the top. But I used to actually have the drip. Like I used to drink absinthe yeah. quite a bit. Yeah. No, every time I go to New Orleans, because it's a big thing there. Yeah. I mean, it's not like real absinthe though. When I was in when I was in Europe. Well, I I had a friend. I well, that's that's real absinthe. Fuck. <laughs> so oh, some absinthe. Fuck. when I was oh drinking a lot God. of absinthe, I'll green fairy with I you, buddy. It. Let's fucking get weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, so when I was drinking absinthe a lot, I had several friends that were in the navy. Mm. So they would go out on their four or five month cruises. And they were hitting all these ports and they were buying the shit and then bringing it back. Sure. Yeah. So I was getting the actual like Euro absinthe. It still had wormwood and shit in yeah. it. And yeah. So we used to used to sit in my back patio and fucking drip absinthe and smoke cigars and, and fucking sit back there. And we we're solving the world's problems. Like it was. Yeah. John, so, were you? Uh, I'm about to pack. When we were in uh, Jamaica. Pack my did pipe. you get? Were you in the pool with us when uh, Obi had the fucking uh, okay. shrooms? Yeah. Uh, it didn't do anything. Didn't There's do a trick. Anything. Yeah. No. There's yeah, a trick that'll make your life a lot easier. Like, it didn't work. So yeah, nothing. Not yeah, so, not even anything. No. It just it was just dirt. Scoop, Most of the weed scoop didn't work until it's full. <laughs> Scooping until it's full. Jazz is teaching me the All proper right, way so to scoop pack until a it's pipe. full. Not with any pressure, just loose full. Okay. All right. Now push it down and it should about half fill the pipe. Yeah. Okay. That's correct. Okay. So now scoop again till it's full. How much pressure do I push this down with? Till it's about half full. Okay. So does it feel like a thawed raw steak? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now scoop until it's full again. Okay. So now you're going to push till it's about three quarters full. Okay. All right. Now scoop until it's full. Okay. Now. I've seen a pattern here. So now you're done. Okay. And you're going to take your thumb and with decent pressure push down until that's level with the top of the pipe. Okay. All right. 
Now you're going to light it. As soon as heat hits it, it's going to expand and lift. And that's when you're going to tamp it down till you're below the top. And then you're going to have to light it again. So it's going to be a two light process. A two light process. So John got me this fucking awesome little pipe for uh, Christmas. Figured uh, it, was, it was something you weren't involved in yet. Yeah. So what blend did you get him? Uh, just the house blend. This is called uh, the Republic. Ah, so you want to do brothels? Yep. They've got it. They do a good job there. They do. They do a good job. So it's probably like a Virginian Burley. And... No idea. I, I was like, between that one and that one, which right. one's better? Where's your little tool? Right here. All right. So now tamp it down. So you get some pretty decent redis- resistance. Okay. Now you're going to light and puff at the same time. Lighten and puffing. What do you think? I think it smells amazing. Yeah. Now hit it. Now, oh, so absolutely. As you smoke, you'll continue to tamp because you need to push the ash down so that the heat stays on top of the tobacco. That's why you keep a tamper on you. Yep. All right. So so now that this has become a thing, I'll bring I, I smoke too. a pipe. I used to smoke a pipe like all the time. <laughs> I haven't because I haven't. It's going to go out on you. I'm going to square you away. You're doing. With some good, some good tobacco. I fucking can't. <laughs> you can't do the tobacco? You can't? I just can't. I, I can't. With a straight face, say I, I smoke a pipe all the time. <laughs> Dude, I love mine. Now I have like I, I just I'm, I'm too much of a 14 year old kid. I think I've got 15 or something pipes. I've got about 10. By the way, you can you can choke it. So when you're smoking, take your thumb and put it over the top yep. and draw on it. Yeah, and then and let lift. your thumb go. It's like a carb. Yeah, you're gonna carb it. You might need but, to light it again. That's also a brand new pipe, so you have absolutely like no buildup on the you've inside. Got, yeah, it's not going to hold. It, exactly. You're you're going to light it a lot till you get a good carbon buildup. Hmm, it smells good, and it's got to condition the burn. Smells really good. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. So what you need? You need an office at the ho- at the house. Yeah, where you can just go in there and hotbox the fuck out of it, and then hotbox and without destroying the rest of the house. I smoke my pipe in my office. Yeah. Because it smoke my own pipe. Because even if I open the door and stuff like yeah. that, it just no, smells why don't you like fucking that. put that yeah. in your like, pipe and smoke it, buddy. Yeah. Oh, I can say that. You sure can. <laughs> now I know what to get you. What? A cruise ma and fucking. So I smoke uh, Mac Baron tobacco, and it, it comes in a roll cake. Yep. And it's it's, it's really it, good. First of all, it's an easier fucking pack, but that smells good. Do you do the triple pack? Well, you have to hand roll Mac Baron after you get. Well, the no, I because I do the roll cakes. So they're all. Oh, so you got to break boom, it. Boom, 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 yeah, boom yeah, yeah. and then down. Yeah. Tastes good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Now you just need a pipe rest. Yeah. That's what, got, a, that's what I'm out for. And then there I'm, you go. <laughs> <laughs> you look very Irish. There you go. You look very Irish. Top of the morning to you. Aye. And the rest of the day to you, you fuck face. <laughs> You'll know you're good at it when you can drive with your windows down and keep your pipe lit at the same time. Ooh. Yeah. That's when you know you actually know what you're doing. Okay. Without it fucking blowing ash everywhere. Dunhill pipes actually used to make uh, a pipe, and they still make them now, that's got a little wind cover that goes over the top of it. It's and like they a were flapper on a They were meant little... for because cars didn't have like doors and windows and shit. They were all open top. So you could smoke your pipe and you flip the little wind cover so that it wouldn't pull everything out of the top of your pipe. It's pretty nice, buddy. Glad you like it. Yeah, glad, thank you. Glad you're using it. This is what happens when you get in your 40s and your 50s. You become like a fucking connoisseur <laughs> of bullshit. Yeah. So it's like, so we know the split at 30. Yeah. Right around mid 30s, you go barbecue or war historian. Yep. Yep. What happens at 40? You start smoking pipes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. All right. You're not 40 yet. You smoke pipes. I I've have since I've been mid 20s. Yeah, but you're a weirdo true <laughs> <laughs> but there's nothing better than playing a war game while smoking a pipe i'm just looking at your opponent like bully so bully <laughs> and then fucking I do well, the play, it, so. it, it, it makes them start to wonder like what does this yeah. guy know that i don't know well now like i, I want to start playing this game called flames of war which is actually tank warfare so you move all these little tanks around the table but i want one of those like push sticks that they had for the same oh, tables in World War II <laughs> where they used to move the units around. Yeah. Yeah. I want yeah, one of those so I can play stable. my game so I can sit there and smoke my pipe and just be like, all right, this tank platoon moves here. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you grow your mustache out for that. <laughs> and a fucking <laughs> swagger <laughs> stick. And, and a nice fucking big lapel smoking jacket. Yeah, I have yeah. a smoking jacket. It's, no? it's a, of course he has a smoking yeah. jacket. Oh, let me. It's he green knows and black. about he he knows about Victorian fashion. Yeah. I have a green and black smoking <laughs> jacket. You're a bo- you're a man out of the century, kid. You need I was to- born way too fucking late. late. Apparently, you yeah, were. way too fucking late. My mom used to tell me that. Just because, like, my favorite band was, like, CCR and shit growing up when I was a kid. So, so. I got a, actually, I got a record player for Christmas, and I was fucking hype, and the first thing that hit it was fucking the Beatles' White Album. See, I, hate, I don't like the Beatles. I don't like the Beatles. I don't like the Beatles. Yeah. yeah. I'm, a, I'm a Stones kind of guy, You're man. allowed to be wrong. Mm. No, that, Stones. I was at, okay, here's one for you guys, except for you, Jess. I was at Madison's parents' house, and they were playing this little trivia game. Okay. And one of the questions was, name the Beatles. John, Paul. John, John Paul. John, Reg- uh, George, Ringo. and Ringo. And R- George, yeah. I have no fucking idea. So are we allowing for... And not the fucking guy who quit. Hey, we got a fucking... We got a fucking leprechaun just walked in. So... <laughs> 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 fucking TJ Kibby just walked in the door. Fucking goony fuck. Oh, oh shit. With another bottle. They brought the blood oath. And there's another bottle of booze. Of course there is. And then whatever he's got. <laughs> so you hit him with a hammer? What's he got? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about 18 years. Hey, uh, <laughs> Dave, Dave's got a present for you. It's from Mikey. Oh, it's from my, yeah, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> you just handed him a hammer. <laughs> so speaking of which, speaking of, of carpentry and stuff, I went over and helped Jazz the other day. Uh, you did, and I, I it literally... So wait. I didn't make him do hard labor, but literally just having a second set of hands oh. for what I was doing... Cut Huge my hole. Labor Day in half. So I was hanging all the balusters on my... Fuck, that was a lot of yeah. balusters, man. You I was hanging all the balusters on my dad's deck. So I had all the top and bottom runners and everything for the balcony portion, but the balusters needed to go in. And But his top deck is eight feet off the Ugh. ground, so there's no way I was... Like, I was going to have to hold it in place and, like, lean over to try and get the nail gun in to put the balusters in. So having a second Good person thing. there that could just, like, hold... Well, so... But I had a scaffolding bench, so I had him standing on the scaffolding bench yeah, with l- the nail gun, luckily, and I was holding all the balance. He says a second places. person, but he needed somebody taller than 5'8". <laughs> <laughs> also true. <laughs> well, I was going to wait for Kibby, but he's like 4'9", so yeah, there right. was going to be no help, help at all. Zero help. He'd had to like, have that scaffolding bench and then like a couple books for him to stand <laughs> on. Like, <laughs> fuck. Milk crates. <laughs> I could have just had him like repel off the balcony. And just <laughs> <laughs> I'm on belay. Fuck, fuck. Well, fuck, boys. Yeah. I know. That's a hell of an episode, kids. Yeah. It was fucking weird. Yeah, it was <laughs> weird. All over the place. It's a Christmas episode. Yeah. Yeah, sure. The, sure. Po- post-Christmas. the post-Christmas. Post-Christmas. Everyone's in a food coma and didn't really give a shit about anything. I literally almost watched John pass out at my table. <laughs> he fucking did. He was sitting at my kitchen dining table. The eyes are getting real, And he was sitting there, the and I looked at him, real, and I was like, man. I was like, Man, I'm watching you fade. And he was like, yeah, this is fucking. Well, I'm still. He was literally talking about Ubering home because he thought he might just fall asleep drunk. <laughs> like, it was just like. <laughs> Dave's like, um, I, yeah, Dave, I, like, I can My drive. car's here and we literally <laughs> live together. I was like, uh, it's like, I don't want to shit in somebody's car that I know. <laughs> <laughs> if I shit on my leather, it's my leather, yeah. God damn it. it really, at least your fucking endurance, endurance levels are like increasing. There's like you like you had about an hour with us on um, Thursday they're, night. They're getting back up. There. Yeah, it's it's um, kind of on that exponential curve at this point. Yeah, uh, but it's still it fucking like if I'm like Christmas for instance, I did a whole bunch of shit and then went over to Jazz's, hung out for a while, and as soon as I ate, it was like fighting. To just like yeah. stay alive. So I kept just pushing him <laughs> to like, places where he could I sit. I can't fucking look at you. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking driving me batshit. It's like, it's if you weird. Notice, if you, y'all have noticed that most of this episode, I've been facing this way yeah. because it freaks me the no, fuck out. No, he walked out. into my house and my wife literally looked at him and was like, <laughs> like nope, 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 that's a, that's a no go. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> Dude, you, cause you're like, hey buddy, when I walked in, yeah. and I'm like, oh, angry cops is here? And I'm like, wait a minute, what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't know Rich was here. What the fuck? I oh, thought I like, was oh, filming cool. the mummy four. Dude, yeah. for real. Yeah. Well, I know, fuck. he's skinnier than fucking he's a skinnier fucking like, yes. No offense. But yeah. Man. Not to you. No, I mean you but him. Yeah. But yeah, Who? I was like, Rich. Rich. He's oh. a little bigger guy, you know. Yeah. Oh, Rich is, here. Rich yeah. is, but yeah, you look yeah, like a shape. retired emotep. Yeah. <laughs> You should say, <laughs> ten, 10 years ago, I wasn't retired. Come along, come along. <laughs> Shut up before I throw a fucking sandstorm your way. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look, you see, the funny thing is, though, w- without the beard, you really don't look like uh, one of our fucking. Um, you don't look like, you look less Middle Eastern, yes. Less what? You yeah, less you look turpish. less turpish yeah. without the yeah. beard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a little bit less turpish. 
Well, boys, I'm going to raise my glass. I'm going to say thank you for being my freedom friends. Fuck yeah. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. Big Jim, always a pleasure. Yeah, pal. Yeah, bro. And uh, like, share, subscribe, smash all those fucking buttons. You guys know the trick. Once again, it's brought to you by WarfighterTobacco.com. Use that code FTFO. Screw yourself that fucking sweet. <laughs> it moved. Um, 15% like off excited. right there. I'm enjoying the fact that I can see it. Yeah. Those jeans are doing you right. Thanks. Lose your new jeans? Yeah. Fucking nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing they weren't the last pair. I don't actually see it. You would have seen it. It would have been out there. Fuck. Oh, can uh, we talk about that, actually? Oh, but that my, Mikey's officially a Texan. My, oh, yeah. like full officially a Texan. Yeah. My full transition into Texanhood. We took him to Cavenders. He bought Ariat boots and some Ariat jeans to go with yeah. him. So yeah. he's officially from I, here now. Officially, I, yeah. I, I, they don't I, have to be skin tight. They're good. They weren't. Yeah, man. No, they're no, good. They're, 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 they're just good jeans. Yeah. yeah. No, they're they're solid jeans, yeah. man. They're fucking super comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Told and you. The they're boots, worth, man. They're worth every fucking penny. My yeah. boot. The boots look good. They do. Yeah, they, so, I like them. So now you can stop saying you're from Baltimore. I think you're just I from like, here. Well, we I never in- once said that, you <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> no, <I'm> just- <laughs> I, I take offense to that. He's not from fucking Baltimore. No, no, he's from you. San Antonio. <laughs> You've been here a decade. You now own boots. You're from San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> stop like, I'll get out of the way if you want to fucking just stop dude. fucking about. <laughs> They're really like, my poor children are going to have the weirdest fucking accent imaginable. They got a Baltimore on mom. They got a Bostonian dad and they're living here. They're growing up here. Yeah, but here. they go to a Texas school. So yeah. They'll be fine. They're going to be like, what are you, retarded, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck. Anyways, uh, also, awellness.us for your CBD needs, treats, tinctures, whatnot. I am fucking covered in uh, fucking freeze gel right now because daddy got back in the gym and I'm sore. Yeah, I, so. bought, I bought bike hooks today, so nice. I have like no excuse. The bikes are going Good. on the wall and the yeah. rack's open. And I'm like, fuck, Good. this is going to suck. It sucks getting back. Yeah, it's going to suck. I took like a solid month off. Like oh, I've decided idiot. that it's going to be the 10 pound bumpers just so I can get motion back. There just you go. to like get everything broken loose and then I'll worry about putting weight on it. That's what you do, Shut man. the fuck up, Jim. <laughs> what you big ass, man. You were <laughs> spotted. I spotted this fucker one time. It's terrifying. You don't, fucking, terrifying. you don't spot him. You watch him lift. Yeah, well, now you enjoyed it because I at least rolled the bar forward for him. And he's like, Thank hey, you, and I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, you, That's you all I did. It. I rolled it forward on the, on the J cup. I just don't want to make sure I don't die. And he got it up. But he was benching like 315, and I'm like, what the fuck do you want me to do? Right. You're benching more than I deadlift. I'm 5'8". I'm like, what the fuck do you want me to do? And he was like, you just have to reduce it by like 50 pounds. And I was like, yeah, all that. right. I got that. And I was That's like, fun. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking terrifying. Anyways, tell your mom. Tell your friends. Tell your fucking mom's, mom's friends. friends. Goddamn right. There's a degenerate podcast with some DGens on it, and uh, we love you for it. Uh, By the way, I think there's going to be a new Patreon perk coming along. Oh, yeah? And uh, I think we're going to up the Patreon perks. We're going to have some private channels on Discord that you're not going to be able to get into unless you're a Patreon supporter. That's going to allow some other shenanigans to happen. You don't get banned. And uh, it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> That's so really that, what it it's literally, we're trying to create a private network so that shit you put on Facebook, even though we have a private group, doesn't get you fucking and, and banned. it's heavily moderated. It is, yeah, it's heavily moderated. <laughs> oh. uh, but the, the Discord's going to be a little bit more of a... By the way, can I just publicly thank Lavalie for going off on that fucking idiot? Oh, it's great. <laughs> that it's Canadian great. If you know what we're talking about, like- <laughs> we haven't pulled the post down. You can go find it. It's pretty hilarious. Uh, but anyways, I think that's going to be one of the new, great. and it's at any level. You can give us a dollar. You'll get the Patreon. You'll get the Discord access and Sweet. stuff like that. So, Fuck But anyways, uh, like until then, uh, we're coming into a new year. We won't talk to you till next year. See you next year. See you next year. <laughs> Uh, I can't wait till the next episode where I can stay. So there's I haven't uh, seen you guys since last year. Yeah. yeah. So there's gonna be uh, three little pieces of advice that we're gonna give you going into the new year, Tiny just like things. last year. Yep. Uh, Jimmy, why don't you hit him with? Why the first do you one? do this to me? <laughs> why? Smoke on. Smoke on. There you go, <laughs> oh, John. Uh, drink on. God damn it, boys! <laughs> Freedom the, the fuck, fuck on. on. See you next time. If we have Scott and Jim on the same show and ask them to do it, it'll be all fucked up. <laughs>